Hey peeps. So I'm going to just make an, a statement here beforehand. Um, the review for this CX Racing Manifold wasn't paid or anything. Um, not complaining, not doing anything. I was kind of mad. So just please forgive me in the video to come. Um, there was no damage to the CX Racing Manifold. Uh, I do plan on running it still. So that being said, um, you know, just don't really take it as like too hard of a review. Um, I, I was just pissed. So enjoy guys. Uh, I will do an install video. Uh, I'm probably gonna go to a fixed rider and probably install it at his shop some weekend from now or whatever. So enjoy. Um, please like, subscribe, and let's get to it. Okay, what's up my clip clops? So I got off the phone with FedEx. Um, I need to send verification. So I'm gonna open the box up and I'll use this video and the photos that I sent earlier on my Instagram as proof. So let's open it up. Let me find my handy dandy little piece here. My nice exacto knife. This, this fucking just, uh, well, let me adjust the camera. There we go. So this right here pisses me off. And look at this. I could literally see my exhaust right here, just there, hanging. So it could have been banging around, going crazy. I got holes here. Holes here. You know what? Let me get my marker. So, I mean, I got this hole here, this hole here, this is a hole here. <sighs> interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, no damage on this side. Let me, let me cut this up so that I can. Okay. Um, I know you guys are going to have a hard time seeing it. Let's see if I could change it. But there's uh, a hole right here. Let me get the camera. There's a hole right there. Some of these, a lot of these indents, I'm not entirely too worried about. It's this right here. And that other hole, the gash that was in there. That means this was not necessarily the best packaged either. So I'm probably going to contact them if FedEx won't do anything. And I'm going to have them send out another one. And I guess I'm just going to tell them to package better. I, I don't fucking know. This is just ridiculous so let's do right here and I got a little bit of damage move the camera back sorry guys I'm a terrible camera person subscribe if I'm a terrible camera person <laughs> so I got that crushed right there which I think is hard to see um, so yeah let's uh, go ahead and pull this out. Let me see if I can move the camera to a better spot. There we go. Move this. I'm very short. 
so this I don't know if you guys can see it this is literally all there is you can see Gaskets. Here's my secondary piping. Some more gaskets. And everything's nice and floating around. So that's good to know. <clears throat> Look at this. What the fuck is this? companies these days man so the only reason I bought this manifold was because one it's really nice and tubular and two I don't see it very often and and when it comes to things being moderately expensive you would think the quality would be moderate as well as the handling so let's see I got two gaskets for the two lowers my two gaskets for straight to the engine, which these, by the way, are garbage. I've used them before and they leak. Thank God I have an extra set sitting in my cabinet over there. They're uh, MLS uh, exhaust gaskets. So these can just, you know what? Hold on. Bolts, I could probably use new bolts. The, the ones that are on there now for the stock, uh, what's it called? The, the stock exhaust manifold with the cats and everything. The ones on the lowers are, are probably very rusted and I would not be surprised if they snapped on me. So let me keep these. Um, sorry if the lighting is garbage, guys. I'm working out of my little tiny garage and then doing all this other fun stuff. Um, another paper gasket, probably for this end right here, which I might keep, because I can't remember if this one was the one that they had. No, the one I need to keep, the two that I need to keep are the ones I just threw away, of course. <sighs> No, I didn't throw them away. They are right here. These go from the upper manifold to the lower part of the manifold because it's a two piece. It is the CX Racing manifold. All right, guys, sorry about that. Phone was pretty close to dying, so I had to go get my charger and plug it in. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, this is cut on its own. <sighs> Like I said, I'm really glad that they put oil on this, but it seems a little excessive in some areas. All right. Get this with the box just because I have to send it back. So. This is the CX Racing Tubular Manifold. Um, looks pretty good. Welds are decent. I feel like it's pretty thin wall still. It's... I feel like I overpaid. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Let's look at the inside. So the, the inside, the walls at least match and conform, so that's good. Um, the, I don't know, there's a lot of spots where the, the tube isn't 100% matched with the port, 
but it's not blocking. So like the tube is bigger than the port itself, but as the exhaust is leaving, it's going to create a small turbulence there because it's going to try and expand, which, which is which is okay. That's good. Um, I just I wish the port itself was matched the same to the tube. I get it. These are meant for, you know, not very long use, mostly because people end up just going turboed anyways. Um, yeah, it's not, this is definitely not too bad. I got my two O2 sensor sets, even though there's only one O2 sensor on my uh, right-hand drive. Um, that looks like it's gonna be an issue trying to get that in when I try and install it. And I think I'm going to bring this down. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. But you see the, the, raised, the raised edges? They're, those are garbage. So I'm gonna shave those down with my Dremel and make it smoother. The welds look okay, like I said, I just, This was 600 bucks, really? All right. So, that's the CX Race Manifold. I figured it was gonna be a little bit better quality. Um, I hope it makes it sound better. I know it's gonna flow better just because I still have the stock catalytic converters, which are garbage, by the way, they have I don't know, my cat light is on, so I'm pretty sure the cats are either clogged or broken loose and the O2 sensors are just like, the fuck dude. So, let's put this aside. And I got my secondary piping. So, one of the, the other reason I bought this was because the long tube manifolds, especially with my experience in the IS300 GS and SE, the SE is like the easiest to install just because it's got room. But in my IS300, I had the hardest time getting the manifold to sit correctly in the, towards the bottom to bolt to the stock OEM uh, cat back exhaust, the OEM cat back exhaust, which even after I bought an aftermarket one before I went turboed, the issue I had was that it didn't line up. And I think part of that was because it was two different companies um, I think, well, the other part of it too was the manifold was like a hundred bucks. So this is not a hundred bucks. Um, this is expensive. And like I said, I, I like having the two piece manifold just because it will make it easier. I can install the manifold first, see how it lines up, or I can install the bottom one first after I get the old one out and then get this one lined up and it, it might make it easier for installation. So we'll, we'll see when it's time to install. So far, I don't see any damage. Um, actually, what side was it? What was this side? So I don't see any damage. That's good, I guess. I'm trying to stay positive, guys. This is this is a really good manifold from what it from what it looks like, um, but we'll see. So let's get this one open. This is the bottom portion of the manifold that goes to the OEM or whatever you have equivalent cat back going exhaust. So oh, this one looks a lot better. This one looks a thousand times better. So let me put this in the box just in case. Ah, my children are ridiculous. One second, guys. Okay. So here is the bottom section. This actually looks a lot better than the top section. The welds actually look way more uniform. It's got a flex pipe, which is nice. And the 
only thing I hate about it is if you look right there, it doesn't line up. It does not line up at all. So I'm probably going to have someone weld this just so it doesn't create a fuck ton of turbulence and then also same or grind it down so it's moderately smooth. Um, and then the same issue for this side. So I know it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there we go. So like right in here. And then on this side too. Um, I'm staying positive because shit happens. I get it. You know, can't be perfect. I, I wish there was a little bit more care put into it, but that's okay. This isn't forever. Um, I do have plans to get a custom turbo manifold made that's low mount for the GE. That That is a little ways to go, which is why I decided to get this exhaust in the first place was because one, I don't have a lot of money to go turbo at the moment. Um, two, I have a bunch of other stuff going along. I'm still working on the Skyline. Uh, I'm trying to get the Skyline finished, but there's just it's one thing after another. Um, another thing is I have two years left in Colorado and then I am moving to Texas. So I, I got to be a little bit better about saving my money, but car parts. <laughs> so I have, an, I have an addiction and part of that addiction is I, I really like to buy parts and work on cars and all sorts of fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the vid. Um, I do plan on coming out and making a second one since, well, really this weekend, tomorrow, Saturday, um, I'm supposed to, we're supposed to have snow here in Colorado. I'm probably going to just put the super away for the winter and then save up money, order parts, build the super during the winter like everyone else does, and then call it good. Um, but anyways, this is the CX Racing Manifold, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please share, like, subscribe, whatever you guys. Uh, if you don't, it's cool. I'm not trying to make money off of YouTube. If I do, that's great, but if not, whatever. I make decent money as it is. So, um, you guys and gals, clip clops, you have a great day, great night, good morning. Y'all stay good.